accidentally picked up a few pallets of wool. Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 71, Survival Challenge. So, off camera we've been very busy. The eggs are producing well. I have mowed and cut the grass again. It does need lime however and it does need fertiliser. I've also rolled, weeded and done everything that's possibly as good to this field. To the point, well I've not weeded it. I spread herbicide before I rested so it could get a good yield on it. And, well, everything's perfect. It's saying expected yield 123%, yield potential 125. Now that seems very good. Everything all over is perfect. Bad down here. Okay. But overall, it's over 100%. So, I am going, to, oh, I did buy a new TMR mixer. Now I do need these bales, wherever they are that I've made, to ferment into salads. And we do need some hay, so the next cut of stuff we get, it will be made into hay. And we're desperate because, well, the cows haven't even got any food. So I might. Oh, we might have one bale of hay. And yeah, we've got one bale. Now, I think it's the time for the mushrooms. I think. Yeah, the grapes need harvesting, but the mushrooms, it's best prices this month, 560, 558, so it is rising, so I do need to get them done, but the first job for today is to get these fields, well all of them, spread with Lime. Yeah, look how bad they are. Was it on outdated? I wonder what colour that's meant to be. It's really bad anyway. Nitrogen is really bad. Yeah, so I do need to spread some fertilizer onto these fields. Better put lime on first, really. No.
So I need, I'm just trying to get as much lime out as possible because it's going to take a lot of lime to get these fields to a good potential. That looks pretty bad, guys. Right, so there's literally no more lime left, guys. So, hopefully we have enough. I'm only, I'm only hoping we do. Because I'm thinking of planting another field of grass because we've just, I don't think we've got enough. See, this lime is not good. Oh my god, no! That's not good guys, that's not good at all.
hoping that's going to say something like perfect. Yep. So now, I need to put the fertiliser down. Which is why I'm hoping... Hoping I've got enough fertilizer to do this entire field. And while I'm at it, I will just show you my mistake. The game crashed on me. This canola field shouldn't have happened. The game crashed. I did could not control where my tractor was going. And well, for the second time in this series, well. The tractor had ruined my field, and this that was definitely a game crash. Oh god, phones. But now, it's time for phase four of the operation. And that is, well, to have to fertilise all of this. So I will put it onto a time lapse and I will see you as soon as the field is done. So, that is the field complete. So we should have some good yields coming off that. Which is looking good. I'll leave that round here. And well, did I have another job to do? Oh, yes, I did. Trailer find. I need to find the trailer. See what's in the sales first. Not much. So I need to get the trailer. Oh, oh no. Yeah. 
I'm actually looking forward to harvesting the corn and the poplar. Both of which are going to be very interesting. Yeah, both crops are going to be very interesting to harvest. The bulk lot of canola, that's going to be enough of a good crop. Right then guys, so I'm just saving the game up just in case it crashes. And right, so I have got all the pallets on board strapped down. Two thousand twenty eight thousand litres of them. And boy is it heavy for the trailer. Dangerously heavy I say.
Someone's gonna say, have you not got a heavier tractor? And the answer is yes. But It might be able to go on it. It's probably the hours on the tractor as well. It can't cope with this much weight. I'm sure it should be able to. It's, it's below minimum repair. 13.4 ton. Not liking the fact that it's having to pull it. This should do the trick. No, I'm not gonna destroy any more crop. Should do a better job at pulling it. Performing a fuss. Just trying to wiggle it. This is a good thing about as well about having a quad track. It wouldn't have got over that bridge, that's for sure. Wherever it's gone. There. It wouldn't have got over that. That is a definite. No idea about which cell point I'm taking it to. Whether or not it will get up the hill. So for mushrooms, 563 is the highest. Well, it looks like it's peaked at the selling point production so probably taking it there 582 yeah 563 mm, 58 yeah no doubt I might as well take it to that now I'm 
hoping I can get enough to, for this. I don't know. I don't even know to risk this. Now I know what my aim is for. It's for a harvester. Oh, that's come in the sale. I don't want it though. And this is the good thing as well about, well, manual transmission. This is a big hole. But yes, I do know what today's thumbnail is probably going to be for episode 71. Mushroom. Sell the day. The big day for the mushrooms. Oh, a question. How much do we make from the mushrooms? I really wish we had an auto load trailer that could do with mushrooms. But the thing is, I don't think we do. Do. Ah, that does it. But does it do mushrooms? Ouch, ouch, ouch. No, it doesn't. My god, we've now picked up some speed. Oh my god, look at that. Does it gonna tip? And now it's crawling again. Yes, I don't actually know what we can use to auto load the mushrooms, basically. Yes, how much are we going to make from one load of mushrooms? 28,000 litres in total. We need a powerful horsepower tractor. Or even the lobby. The mushrooms must really do weigh a ton though. Forty-four thousand litres, plus the environmental score. It's nearly two hundred thousand pounds, guys. Mm. So this is probably going to be recorded in. I don't know. It's probably going to be recorded in chunks because, as you probably know from that time lapse. Well, it's a 20 minute clip altogether, and 20 minutes 
as a time lapse, shortened right down is going to look like a five minute time lapse. So, I'm probably not willing to show the whole loading up speed. But I think I am going to. No, 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 I'm going to split it up a bit here. And that is, turn them off for a start off. Now, with this truck and trailer, that one we got in the sales, that one we didn't. But, I know it's a farmer, I know it's farmer Steve's. <sighs> that red one of yours modding's which is not yours modding, it's just yours modding's number plate, hold a lot more crops, more crops, and it holds every single item in the base game, whereas that one just holds limited crops. I know it's split off, but at this stage, I don't need a trail that split off. So I'm going to sell this I am going to keep Farmer Steve's number plate to it But I'm just going to sell the truck And I'm going to replace it I'm going to replace it with, well, that one I've seen already. Probably the auto load version of the truck. I don't know if it can do multiple products at the same time. And I probably will have to test that out of camera on my test map. But yes, I don't know when this is going to come out this week. I'm hoping it will be Tuesday because I have got another video planned as well as survival roleplay hopefully this week. Another two videos planned actually. And yes, Mason's County will be returning, but I have been ill and I have been really busy at IRL. But I might, because that series is an update and it does require a new game save. I'm tempted to. Oh, I don't know. I'm tempted to really end it and concentrate on survival challenge and survival roleplay. I don't know what to do for the best and I'm going to run out probably a community poll. Oh no, I don't want to sell a vehicle, God. So... I want to go down to Trailers Miscellaneous. I want to go to the Pallet Auto Loads trailer. I want to put on the Giant Software. I don't think I can change the colour. 
I will be. Yeah, so I can't change the colour, so there's no point having that on it. Chassis, I might be able to change it from into blue, yeah. I could have it for blue, yes. Oh, yes, that's nice. Oh, the design, I can actually have the design colour changed. I do love Massey Ferguson's. Red, white and blue as well, UK colours. Yeah, I do like good Massey Ferguson, guys. I farmer, and then it's gonna have to be twenty two. Back only. Boom. Boom. That's gonna cost me thirty thousand in itself, but it's worthwhile. It's gonna mean that I can actually do a lot of auto load work. Except from the flowers, I think. I don't think the flowers are going to accept me to do it. But everything else should do. Any other pallets that we've got lying around, it should do it. I am tempted about getting the flower. Well, I'm tempted about getting any old productions back. I think it'll do the platinum expansion palette. I think. I think so, anyway. No, it can't do them, but it can actually do all the furniture and stuff. With this auto load feature, no, it's on hard. So, open side curtain to the left. Close side curtain. So curtain left back, right front, right back, left front. So, time to find the auto load switch. Why is it saying we f No, I don't want to be for the seed. Yeah. 
So it actually won't do it with the pallets, which is not to worry. But we have actually got a trailer now to haul away. Any any goods, really? Which I'm quite pleased about because I wasn't expecting to get a trailer this episode. There's no water in the mushroom greenhouse. I'm gonna get rid of this tractor and flatbed setup. I might even get rid of the mushroom greenhouse to be fair. So
Right then guys, so this is probably going to be the last video bit for tonight. There's too much back. I need to sort stuff out guys. So, as soon as I finish this clip here, I'm probably going to end the episode. I've no idea how long it's going to be. If I can get a few time lapses done. Then, I will do. But if not, it could be short. Let me get a screenshot first. If I accidentally picked up a few pallets of wool. I'm hoping this sells the final two. So we have made. I'll know exactly how much we've made. Must come under harvest income. Yes. I see under that income. That's vehicles. It comes under harvest. We've made about ninety-six thousand pounds, leaving us at a total of two hundred and forty pounds. Two hundred and forty thousand. Is there anything in the sales? Probably not. We are looking at the grape technology, and well, I think I already know which one I'm going for. I think I'm probably going for the Oxbow DLC. I've no idea what's the difference though. Someone who's used this DLC, can you please tell me the difference? What's the difference between the overloading harvester and the actual harvester? Only reason why I'm asking is because it costs more. You get the harvester, you get the tank with it. You get the overload and you need a trailer to go alongside it. Either way, we have got... No, we haven't got the, we haven't got the 245. Otherwise, I might go for the 151 because I'm only going to be doing grapes. Probably once. It's probably not going to be worth doing. I can't see it. But yes, if you've enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And for more videos just like this one on the channel, I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.